good YouTube? It's your girl Rachel J, aka Eloquent Perfection, and I am back, back, back with another video. So make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed already, and thanks for tuning in to my channel. So in today's video, what I am going to be going over is some goals that I had for last year um, in my goal book. Um, it's really low-key a bucket list book, but I just feel like goal book sound a little bit better because bucket list just sounds so like you on the way out type of feel. So anyway, this is my goal book slash bucket list book. Um, and then I have it just highlighted the stuff that I accomplished and then in different colors what I've done so quick little flip through and I've actually had this for years um this isn't a book that I just started last year but just to give you an idea of like how I go about it and how I use it um, so I did take like some notes on some of the goals that I did accomplish last year just to kind of do a review and then also plan to get into some of the things that I wanted to get done last year that I didn't and then stay tuned because I also will be featuring my vision board for this year which is exciting. So last year of course we had the whole pandemic and everything so I was able to get some things done and then some I just wasn't like it just didn't. It just ain't happen. Um, but so one of my like super big goals is that I want to eventually travel to all 50 states. And so I was able to cross off two states last year, which is really exciting. So I traveled to Atlanta for the first time. So, of course, that crosses off Georgia. And then I also traveled to New Orleans for the first time. And so I got to cross off Louisiana. And I love their accents, by the way, like. Just quick little sideboard, like it's just everything. Um, I went to a winery for the first time last year. I went to um, Soda Fountain over in St. Louis and they have these crazy um, like freak shakes that they call it. And it's like just super cute. Like you wanna go to one of those places for just like the experience for one, but also like a cute look, you know what I'm saying? Like photo op where it's like you post it and people gonna be like, oh, where you at? Like, that's one of them type of spots. Um, I originally wanted to go to this place in Vegas. I think it's called Black Tap. But it's basically the same concept where they have these super extravagant shakes for just decoration. But it was really cute. Um, I also went to Russell Stover's for the first time and had ice cream, which I'm glad I did because COVID just, like, wiped them out. Like, they don't even... I don't know if it's everywhere, but in this, this area, like, they don't even exist no more. So, I'm glad I got that one out the way. I boosted up my credit score to a 690. So, when I found that out, I definitely just broke out and started twerking. Like, it's lit. So, um, I definitely want to boost that up some more for this year. I am using an app called Duolingo, where I completed several French courses. So, I definitely want to knock more of those out going into next year if you are looking into learning a different language or if you already started learning one and you want to brush up on skills maybe you took one in high school or whatever or you know like a couple phrases and you just want to further that um, I think it would be really good during this time to download the app and they have everything on there so you don't have to do French like me you can do Spanish Swahili like just anything so um the name of it's called duolingo it has a little owl as the um little logo thing so yeah download that i did an escape room this year i low-key was kind of creeped out because i don't know this might be extra but i had to make sure i did it with people i trust i didn't want to be a person who um went into it by myself and just got added onto a team because somehow in my mind for whatever reason I felt like what if I go into an escape room and it's low-key like another version of the movie Saw and so I think I'm playing this game but like what if I real life like am fighting for my life and can't get out so for that reason is it took me a minute to finally do an escape room because I'm like y'all saying y'all promoting it as a game but like I ain't trying to be stuck nowhere so that was that we did escape by the way so that 
because I was getting nervous for a minute. I'm like, what's going on? Why y'all taking us to another room? It was a lot. Um, I had a fishbowl drink for the first time this year, and that was in New Orleans. So I got to cross off two things at once. And then I had been thinking about for a while making my own greeting cards and bookmarks. So I actually stuck to that and got that accomplished. So I feel like I had a really productive year despite the pandemic and all of the different things going on. I got my blog started off on Facebook. Follow me there at Eloquent Perfection as well. Some things I really wish I could have done. I wanted to travel even more than what I did. I really wanted to go to California. That is like my dream state that I just really, really want to visit. I just feel like whenever I see pictures and videos and people out there and everything, it just looks like happiness to me. So I just really want to be out there and just visit and just see what it's like. Like soak up that sun, get that West Coast vibe, like, you know, all of that. Um, another place that I really wanted to go to last year was New York, but then they started making their own rules with like the COVID travel restrictions and all of that. And so for reasons that I'm sure I can kind of like understand, God just snatched me up by my edges and was like, you ain't going. So shut all that down. So I ain't make it to the Big Apple, but one day, not last year, but one day. Also... Um, I really want to go to a Harlem Globe Charters game, like just for the experience. So that didn't get to happen either. The Millennial Tour, I was so ready for. It was ridiculous how like hype I was over it because growing up, I just loved me some Bow Wow. I mean, I love the other people on the tour too, but that's who like I really, really wanted to see. Um, and then I did a video like a month ago just about me describing revamping my channel and so prior to me revamping my channel switching over my name all that good stuff my channel name actually used to be ray ray 8792 the 87 in that is literally because that is the year that bow wow was born and like it was real it was so real like my love for him so i'm gonna stop talking about that because i'm starting to feel a little exposed um so on to revealing my vision board for this year so this is actually my very first time doing a vision board so i don't really know if it's gonna work for me or not i know a bunch of people are really into it they make one every year and revisit it and all that good stuff for me i really do enjoy writing things out so it may or may not work for me um so it doesn't hurt to just you know test it out and see so i did just a little tiny one I just, for me, I know I see people normally with these really big poster boards and I just feel like that was doing a lot. I'm not even going to lie to you. So I went the smaller route and just used regular cardstock instead. I just wanted my vision board to be like a resume. I don't want my eyes all over the place. I want to be able to see it and just focus, like just laser in on what I'm trying to do and really a lot of it is just it goes back to some of my goals for this year which I'll kind of just verbally share some of those in a minute but this is how it looks and I think it turned out kind of cute um me I'm a type of person where it's like I like just kind of getting to the point and so what I did was I got a couple things on here out of a magazine and then some of them I just looked up online and printed it in color because I'm not finna be flipping through all day every day that's doing a whole lot and I'm really not trying to do all of that so yeah 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 so I have a heart on here I think it's really important to give and receive love into the world um, and then I also have these hearts at the top just kind of representing like self-love like showing love to myself first and foremost before I start doing all this other stuff I have a plane on here because I want to travel um, some bookmarks that I made and so last year because I want to definitely stick with my goal of making more bookmarks relax on here that's so important because I'm all over the place at times so just a reminder to do that love on here youtube on here for obvious reasons i have god in the center because i think he definitely needs to be at the center of everything that i do 
shine because I feel like sometimes I try to like water myself down for other people which I don't even know why I be doing it it just be I don't know um I got pens on here as a reminder to just keep writing poetry journaling all that good stuff getting my, it helps get my ideas going too when I just kind of free write um some Christmas cards at the bottom that I made last year and gave to some of my co-workers um a saying on here says get sleep eat clean move more stress less drink water because yeah my weight loss goals last year yeah um and then I have candles on here at the bottom I'm not really a candle person but I really do love wax melts and I just feel like coming into a room that smells good just puts you in a better mood makes you feel way more productive in everything that's already some of them but I have some that are written out too and it's on this app called Mindly that um, is really a cute little app to get and basically it has like all these different bubbles for you to just kind of keep track of all your different thoughts and I think it really just kind of stays track with you being productive so if you are interested in having an app that kind of just helps you just you know bring everything all together then I think that would be a really good app. Um, of course, it's on your phone, but I don't know if they have an online version. I will look into it, and if so, I will definitely put that in the description box. So, some of the things on my list for this year is to aim to complete 13 French courses um, overall. So, adding on to the ones I've already done. Um, I want to get more subscribers on my YouTube channel. I want to upload at least 14 videos this year. I want to try to travel to New York and Cali this year since I wasn't able to do it last year. And if not those places, I definitely want to at least go somewhere new that like I've never been before. I want to boost my credit score up to a 17 this year. So we'll see if I can do that. And I definitely want to stay focused with making the greeting cards and the bookmarks. So that's where I'm at this year with things. I will definitely try to put the link for those in the description box. If you have not done so already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure that you tell other people subscribe to my channel just because I will definitely have more things coming soon for you guys. And also, I think I forgot to say it in the beginning, happy National Vision Board Day. That's the whole reason that I was motivated to do this video and somehow I forgot. But um, let me know down in the comments if you have ever done a vision board and if doing one has worked for you or if you're interested in doing one and what your thoughts are or what's holding you back from, you know, creating your own. So I will see you guys in the next video.